in terms of Chinese dreams of becoming a tourist center lie in places like this places like Sanya and Hainan I've always argued that China does not China does not need tourists and they can do it by themselves most of the tourists you see in places in China are Chinese and since you go to the Great Wall you will see a million people all at once and of those 800,000 will be Chinese they can lift the tourism in the city so I think they're doing fine anyway but it always helps to get those extra foreigners to appear to receive and to do that I think the Chinese will have to dig deeper their services uh, are most of the time substandard you can't find an English speaking you know receptionist you know the, the language part it's a big problem but, you know the taxi drivers oh. In many places, the people that are always going to speak to speak to you are always going to be taxi drivers and hotel staffs. But not here in China. It's very hard to find someone who can just you know, talk to you in an international language before you bash me for being an English worshipper. You know, you need a few international languages handy so that people can come. You know, because. They speak Chinese in China and a few other places around China but if you want people from all over the world it doesn't hurt to go with English so that has been a huge problem I can move about like this in China because of course I can speak conversational Chinese but what about some Dikembe Mutombo out there and also wanting to see China and having dreams of China. Just landing at the airport, your troubles would start right there. And then you have to you have to weave through a lot of nets and jump through hoops. Even the bureaucracy itself would kill you. You know, to get the visa or to check in half the hotels in the city not even half i would say 90 percent of the hotels you see in a chinese city you're not allowed to go there as a foreigner i don't know why they say it's for security but if chinese people can go to the hotels why would foreigners not go so that's a that's a huge issue when, when it comes to chinese tourism you know there's there's a a bureaucratic vibe that has a touch of you know xenophobia to it it doesn't matter where you're from you will get rejected in many hotels in china and then you need to know the language and then the places are not properly advertised you see you go online you check for brochures you know the information in english is not that not enough so I wish they could do more and then there's that thing of food safety you know people are afraid of eating things in China because you never know what you're eating yeah. you no know, each time I eat a pig each time I eat pork I was like okay where did this pig grow up those questions always haunt me So this is like a, a tourist street, a tourist street to support the tourists, so it's restaurants. One problem I have with this place is it's just stupidly expensive. Even Chinese people are wise enough not to not to eat in these places. 
they double and triple and quadruple the prices of many things. I feel very ready to go back home now. I feel very ready to go back home. You know when you've been on holiday, there comes a time when you're like, yeah, I'm ready. I think I'm spent. I have uh, I've walked around for a long time. And been out and about. Just want to go home. Just got a message from my boss saying, oh yeah, you, you start work on Monday. Initially, we were supposed to start work tomorrow. So I have a weekend to recover, get a shave, a haircut, and most importantly, to plan for work because I had no plan at all. But now, now that I have to work on Monday, today is uh, Friday. Is it? Just take it as Friday. <laughs> All right, hey. It is really hot right now. The, the temperatures that I'm experiencing right now are at par with the temperatures of a tropical place like Katabe, Malawi. You know, Uganda. It is hot and humid and it gets to you. You can feel it. But you're in the tropics, but you well I am in the tropics. This is below the tropic of cancer. But not many people associate China with the thing. Not many people associate with uh, China with the tropics. So. This, maybe that's part of uh, the lack of uh, advertising on, on China's part. You know? They do have tropical paradises, and the thing is, their beaches are safer. China is safer. You know, you don't expect to get robbed in China. You don't. I've been here six years, also never been scammed, never been threatened, never been harassed. No one has even asked me for my ID. It is it's nice to be here, it is safe. So why are many people not coming here and why are people going to Thailand instead where they Sometimes end up dead. So maybe it's the uh, it's the drugs and the prostitutes that you can find in those other places. Yeah, here if you want to find a prostitute, you have to dig deeper. And if you want to find drugs in China, <laughs> good luck. Yeah, the sentences are the same, you know. They, they would kill you here if they found you with enough drugs. And the prostitutes, you really have to know where to look. You, you just can't find them, you know, on the street side. You, you have to go to places or, or open up certain applications. Then you find that type of crowd. With that said, I would, I would understand why you know, this country is not as attractive to people because you, you, you just come here, have good food, you know, mingle with the Chinese and nothing else in terms of nightclubs, nah. They, they do it the Chinese style which is boring, you go, you go to a nightclub and you watch dancers. So they have these women who dance with their hands 
and not the body so you, you sit there and you watch uh, you watch them dance and they expect you to buy where you sit you, you know you have to pay for the seat the, the drinks are stupidly expensive you know and they are targeted at Chinese people who are very rich so if you just want to have fun for the night you know dance now this is uh, this is not a place so I guess I guess that's part of the, you know, the thing that's wrong with Chinese tourism. You just can't have the fun that tourists expect to have. But if you just want to come and see. I would recommend a place like Sanya. A country like China. When I go back into the city, <coughs> I will look for a nice meal and a hammer like a hungry hyena because I'm famished at the moment yes I know my audio game is not very top drawer I'm just using the GoPro this is my first ever you know vlog I should say this is my first ever vlog I don't do vlogs so why not but the the audio game will get better i have the tools i do have the tools i will just have to use them they are cumbersome that should be safe but when has that ever stopped man from doing what he wants This restaurant is called the Medusa. Interesting name. Very interesting name. The one thing that I've done a lot here is the fruit. The fruits are way, way cheaper here. And I've gone to town. Sometimes I'm not eating food, you know. Uh, fruits are ah, food. But sometimes I've not eaten a proper meal just because I chose to go to town on some pineapple and you know, fruits. I like it. They're sweet, nice, fresh. You can feel the authenticity because they're grown locally. In the northern part of China, the fruits are imported from Vietnam and this place. So this is the theme. We have uh, Chinese, Beijing, Jin, toilet, English. I think that is toilet too in uh, Russian and then Korean and then Japanese. But that's not very common. It's mostly just Russian and Chinese. 
in some cities it's just Korean and Chinese so very interesting how they choose which languages to read the postal language but I understand it's, it depends on the numbers there are some cities that are very famous with uh, Koreans so cities are very famous with uh, Japanese so I guess the city councils dance to those tunes uh, if I were to say how many in Insania I think Russia wins I could be wrong because Japanese and the Koreans and Chinese mingle you know you wouldn't tell the difference right away but the people that stand out here are Russian looking yes I met someone from Kazakhstan I met someone from Armenia but it feels like the whole Eastern Europe is attracted to this city in, in the hotels where I stay they have Hello. In the hotels where I stay, they had posters with uh, Russian and English. No, 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 not English, just Russian. So I do understand why, why that is the case. But more needs to be done. You know, this this city should have, should be available to everyone. Russian or English speaking. And yes, and there's that thing where most most. Uh, Foreigners here wear bikinis and the locals, uh, someone told me that there's some sort of aversion towards bikinis. So you see a lot of foreigners wearing bikinis but not Chinese people. Chinese people will go for more, um, more traditional type of swimwear. You will not see us. But yeah, the foreigners here are like, yeah, fuck it. They have all manner of bikinis. And it's a shock to the locals who have to. I, I've seen a lot of Chinese people taking pictures of the foreigners because they have this. It's a shock to them. Or is it? So I'm back to the entrance. This should also be an exit, I think. Uh, from here, I go to the bus, the bus station. Take the same bus that took me here, and then come home. Go back to where I can eat and swim. Mm. I think I know where I will eat. There's a Muslim restaurant near here. Some Muslim restaurants are very popular in China, especially with Africans because the cuisine is closer to home. Now you can go to a Muslim restaurant and order any type of food and you wouldn't go wrong. It's not that good, but I don't like Chinese food. But for a Muslim restaurant, they try to, to make the portions for one person. In some Chinese restaurant, you order fish and they give you fish enough for 20 people, you know. So they target large numbers. But Muslim restaurants, just one man, one plate.
to the main street from here you can take a bus to many places and that's bus number eight but first I said I needed to eat Thank you. 